Ah, a wonderful time for a cigar, isn't it? The chilly weather outside nearly blowing this house down. The only thing keeping my body warm is the cigar and the fireplace crackling away. Tonight I'm going to read you a popular children's scary story that I grew up with. As a 2000s kid, you guys will truly get a kick out of this one. After the story, I will let you listen to the fire the rest of the time. Let us begin, shall we? This story starts with a girl named Jenny, an otherwise ordinary girl who lived among her small town. An incredibly kind person she was to everyone around her. The only thing peculiar about Jenny was a green ribbon that was on her neck at all times. As far as anyone knew, they never once saw her remove it out in public. They don't remember a time when it wasn't there. This made her stand out in school. One day she was in her classroom for a lesson, and a boy sitting across from her sat and admired Jenny. His name was Alfred. Pretty soon this admiration would become a crush, which she accepted. One morning at recess, Alfred and Jenny were walking and talking with one another. Curiosity filled the boy and went on to ask, Why do you wear this green ribbon around your neck? Jenny nervously laughed and remarked, Oh, well, I never knew of a time when I didn't have it. But when the time is right, I will show you. Alfred understood it was a touchy subject for her and smiled back at her. This crush turned into a serious relationship. The two of them were inseparable and truly happy to be with each other. After getting married, Alfred decided to ask her again about this green ribbon. Jenny, you said back then you would show me what the green ribbon was for. Is it the right time? Asked Alfred. She smiled and said, Alfred, it's still not the right time, but someday I will show you why I have this ribbon. I haven't forgotten. Both smiled and went on their merry way. At some point, both have aged significantly, and Jenny, getting weaker, ends up in the hospital. As Alfred opens the door to her room, she is relieved to see him. Alfred leans over the bed, kisses her forehead. Delighted by this, and realizing she is on her deathbed, she says with bated breath, I love you, Alfred. Now is the right time to show you what the green ribbon is for. Can you do it for me? She asks. He gladly takes his hand and removes the ribbon from her neck. When suddenly, <gasps> Jenny's head rolls off and onto the floor. Alfred completely recoils in fear and shock, seeing what had just happened. Now understanding why she kept him in the dark about it for all this time, until now. The end. I know, I couldn't believe the ending either when I was a kid. I was in second grade when I first read that story. If you are a 2000s kid, let me know in the comments if this brought nostalgia, and how old were you when you heard this story. Enjoy the rest of this crackling fire. I'm gonna go finish this cigar.